This is our Nakamura Tome Slant One Turning Center that we have for sale. It's listed on eBay and Craigslist right now. Uh, there is, um, this is up unpowered right now at our shop in Warminster, PA. Uh, we did make a couple of parts with this machine a few months ago. Uh, this is knurled and threaded. Uh, these fit one th uh, threads into the other. But we haven't done anything since then, so it's time to find this machine a new home. I have another video that shows a little bit more of a walk around the machine and what else we have available with it. Uh, but this video, we're just going to look at, run it through some paces. So the, I, the machine's on and the uh, hydraulic uh, gauges are down there. We're going to try to get a little bit of a peek at those just to show you they're up. And then we'll look at the controller and go through some of the paces. I'm just going to uh, re-zero it out here. I have the position indicator here where this will be moving. It shows the position of the, of the machine. So I'm going to bring it back up to the zero on the X. And you can see up on the screen it's zeroed. And we're going to go to the Z. Okay, so now we've zeroed it out. We've got two green lights there. Uh, what's what do I want to do next? Um, Let's uh, let's run the t the tool turret. We'll index it first to the one tool, and that's going to turn the turret. All right. Let's just turn it to number five. And maybe number 12. And let's go back to 7. All right. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just operate the chuck. There's a foot switch down there that activates it on or off. So I will use that over on this side. So I have one of the parts that we made still in the machine, in the collet, and I'm going to activate the collet, and then insert it back in, keep my fingers out of the way, and hit it again, and we're back in. All right. So the next thing maybe I want to do is uh, just move it around on the rapid little bit. So we're going to come over on the Z. Let me slow that down slightly and then come down on the on the X. Without hitting the spindle there. Come up a little bit again. Come over. Come down a bit. Back up, back over. All right, then let's, I'll just move it around on the jog function. I don't think you can see the machine. It moves so slowly you can't see it moving, but the indicator up here will show its position. I think you can see that changing on the X and now on the Z. So it's a... Uh, working. 
And, uh, oh, then the hand wheel, maybe a little bit on this wheel. We're going to move it on the X first here. Uh, let me see if I can speed that up a bit. Okay, now you can see it moving down on the X and switch it to the uh, Z and move it back and forward on the hand wheel. All right, uh, the next thing I want to do is just turn the spindle on. Uh, here it's at, uh, you'll see the speed adjustment here, forward, reverse, and the spindle speed and the spindle load. So we'll look at both the movement here. We'll start this up. This is at uh, just below 2,000 RPM. It goes up to about 4,000. This is forward. There I am, about 4,000 RPM. Now I'm going to bring it back down to less than 2,000 and we'll stop it. And then I'll bring it back in reverse. And bring it up to speed again. There's 3,000 RP. 4,000 RPM. And back down and stop it. All right. Um, the, uh, the quill works, but I do not believe the tailstock moves. And I don't know what's wrong with it. I haven't investigated. So if you want to move just in on a little bit in, we'll look at the, just put, push the quill in and out. So that seems to move adequately. Uh, I do not know how to move the tail stock. I haven't used it. Also, the chip collector here, this unit is not working, and I do not know why. Um, but if we move it around to this side, I'll just turn the conveyor on briefly. Let's see if there's anything here. You can see it's moving. A few scraps in there. And now I'll put a stop and back it up for the heck of it, which you might want to do to unjam it or something. So just back it up for six inches if it jams is what I was going to do. Okay, so that works. All right, uh, that's what I have to show you. Uh, you're very welcome to come by our shop and inspect this uh, in person. And I would encourage you to do so. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, check out the other photos and the other video that are posted on the websites, either on eBay or Craigslist.